so wow, Archie hangs out with Austin. And I thought I'd come on and do it on here. So here we are. I did not have any of these marked. And they are low volume, so I'm probably gonna get some of them upside down. behind on this one. Oh, you sneeze. Oh. Okay, I thought I was gonna sneeze. My allergies are so bad. Okay. We're just gonna get these going. I am so behind on this clip. Let's hope we have enough I left all my wild bobbins upstairs. One down. Quite a bit to go. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I know, it's been a long time. We are hanging in there. Every day is a little bit wild and crazy, but we are doing alright. We are just hanging in there. <laughs> Um, Archie had his two-month checkup today, and he had to get some shots. Let's see if I can move you guys. You can kind of see. I'll put you on this grand prize box. There we go. <laughs> I don't have a fancy setup, and the sewing room is absolutely a disaster. So I've just been like, whenever I get a moment, just going crazy. Just sewing as much as I can. There we go. Boop. But this side looks fine. Yeah, but he had his two month checkup today and he got um, three shots and another like oral vaccine. He's 11 pounds. Can't believe it. He's growing so stinking fast. Oh my gosh. Of course. I run out of bobbin. Literally. Right as I start. I don't know where Austin put my other bobbin case, but I had a bob bobbin case full of round bobbins. And I don't know where he put that whole set of them, but that would be very helpful right now if I knew where they were. Oh man, that sucks. I have to move them. I literally have like four wound and ready to go. But I don't know where they are. It's frustrating. I feel like I barely get it every time to do something and then I come down here and my bobbin is already running out. Dang it. It's okay. I'll wind it. I know, two months. And he's 11 pounds already. He's so big. But still so small. 
I hope he stays small forever, for as long as he possibly can. How annoying is this? Come down here, ready to sew, and none of your, you don't have a bobbin. And I want my, probably not the best scissors to use for this. All my stuff is kind of all over the place because I've been sewing upstairs in the kitchen. So some things are like not where they should be. Some things are upstairs, some things are downstairs. Some things you don't even know where they are. You just kind of go for it. I'm going to just wind one bobbin. I doubt I'll go through that whole thing tonight before Archie wakes back up and realizes that I've left him. With dad. I've got to thread my machine. Duh. Oh my gosh. That's pretty much how it is subbed up these days. I feel like I'm just brain dead. Brain dead. I'm really excited to use this fabric though. It's so cute. So pretty. And we hung up like a huge curtain wall in our living room to display like a big quilt. And so this I think is gonna be my like spring quilt because it's very springy fabric. So pretty. Alrighty. Let's continue. <laughs> I was going to trim or like cut this fabric last night so that I could like make some progress and I ended up just going to bed. But I've got a lot to do so I need to like stay up and get it done. Get it done, get it done. I am working on a test quilt called Gaining Altitude. I can't show you what that looks like right now, but I can tell you what fabric I'm using. I'm using the Pansies Posies fabric, that really pretty purple and green fabric I shared a long, long time ago. Um, I'm using that for this test. There is a lot of flying geese in this thing. I mean, there are so many flying geese in this pattern. And what's really annoying is I went to the quilt shop today before his appointment because I had just like a yard short of the fabric I needed for the background. So I went and got the background fabric so that I could start piecing it. And I come home and I realized that the fabric that I got was not the same is what I have back here so it does not match. You cannot even tell, but I can tell that it's different. I guess she made two types of thatched and this thatched like coordinates with this line and it's got more of like dots and the other thatch that I have is the same exact color and it's the same like lines but it does not have like the big dots. So how frustrating is that? I'm like, oh my gosh, I came back home and I started ironing the fabric and I was like, oh no, these do not match. You would have to come up really close and be in like the right lighting to notice that they aren't 100% aren't the same. But it is kind of, kind of nagging at me. We are just going to make it work though. We're doing four at a time flying geese. <sighs> I feel like I'm not gonna get this done in the time that I need to get it done. Hi Tracy, how are you? Yeah, I don't know how long I'll be on. 
Archie is up there snuggling with Dad. They're upstairs. I had to get some progress done on this one. It's kind of a mess. There is a lot to do on this quilt. There's stars, there's flying geese, there's half squared triangles. They're one at a time, which is just... And then there's like four at a time flying geese, and then there's um, the flip and stitch flying geese. It's madness. There's a lot to do. For some reason, that... That was way off. What in the world? Hmm. We're just gonna go for it. I know I have a lot of these to make, so I don't think it'll go too, too slow. I think once I just start seeing some blocks come together, I'm going to feel better about the time requirement. But there might be a few late nights coming up here. How's everyone doing? I feel like it's been forever. Hi, Katie. How's everyone? I've been MIA, but also like lurking and sometimes commenting. I don't like going on the on the videos. And commenting in the chat too much because I feel like a lot of the times I jump in and I watch for a little bit and I say hi and then, you know, there's a diaper that needs to be changed and then I'm gone. And so sometimes I lurk a lot. I don't um, always comment and stuff, but when I'm on here and watching videos, I try to say hi, but also try not to because I don't want to like drop in and then drop out and people will be like, what the heck? Where'd she go? Hi, Michaela. Oh, no. That geese got way off. Yeah, you can tell I've been working upstairs because I don't even have my little iron down here. It's up there. So all of my stuff is just kind of all over the place. Just kind of a pain in the butt. I was going to sew upstairs. That's where all my my gadgets are, but then I have my fabric down here. I just have to get used to having like two separate spots. I need like a little caddy to bring all my stuff down. Hi. Hello, Linda. Maybe I'll go get my little Oliso mini iron. My cordless one's upstairs. Maybe I'll get my OG mini iron out. It's been a long time since I've used that guy. I guess I might just do that because I have to cut these apart and iron them. Even my little snips are upstairs. What is this? It's so weird being down here again. I don't even have my my little snips. Guess I'll use this guy. Yeah, this fabric is so so pretty. I'm really excited to use it in this project. Um, the pattern is a really good pattern because it has like really big flying geese units and then it has like 
the stars. So it's a great pattern to showcase those bigger prints that you don't want to cut up in your fabric. And this particular collection was perfect because there's a lot of non-directional stuff in there. So the flying geese, you kind of, it depends on how it's laid out, but this pattern, the flying geese are kind of all going in different directions. So I was like, oh my gosh, this collection would be perfect because none of the prints are going to get weird if they're upside down or sideways. So that's what made me choose this. And I think it's going to be really pretty. But look at those flowers. Oh my gosh. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So I'm kind of behind schedule because I kind of like out of nowhere um, was like, hey, I'm going to throw another quilt into the schedule because there was a birthday party coming up and it was my, my friend's kiddo's second birthday. And I was like, well, I'm going to make a quilt for him. So now I'm behind on the quilts that I need to get done because I did one that I wanted to do for fun. I don't regret it though. I like to think that I thrive on a deadline, but now I'm thinking I'm kind of crazy. I've done a few quilts on the long arm. I've probably done like three or four. I have one that I need to load and, and do. I was going to do it yesterday but um we did like some gardening and I hung out with my dad a little bit so I'm kind of I need to do another quilt for the most part I've just been doing like um piecing here and there um I've been like sewing upstairs when the kids are eating so I'll just like make their breakfast and then I can like squeeze in 15 20 minutes of sewing because they take forever to eat which is kind of nice when you get to play on the sewing machine i just pop archie into the swing while they eat and he either takes a nap or he just hangs out for a little bit sometimes he's like nope get me out of here you are not doing anything today and i'm fine with that I think this is the first night where I've like chosen to come down here and not go to sleep or not cuddle with him. It's so hard to like go put him to bed, get him all comfortable, get him snuggling with you. He's like laying on you, pass out of sleep. It's so hard to get out of bed. And like Austin, a few times, he's like, Do you want to go downstairs and do this? Or do you want to do this? Or do you want to go cut fabric? And I'm like, No, I can't leave him. He's so like. He's so snuggly, I don't want to leave him. Or I'm like so tired and I'm like, no, I don't want to get up. So, yeah, this is like the first time that I've come down here at night like I used to. I used to come down here and so to like super late or early, I guess, however you choose to look at it early in the morning, late at night. Um, I think we're doing a play date tomorrow. And then I have to go to work tomorrow. So, it's gonna be a big day tomorrow. Today was kind of a big day. Drive in, he got his shots today, and he was so, so not happy with that, but He's okay. Let's see, is this big enough? Nope. Um, what ruler do I want to use? There might be one in here that might be perfect size. Is it? Oh. That is like almost 
Hold on. Ah, oh, it's literally an eighth of an inch too short. This is bigger. Ah, oh, no. Okay, I guess I have to get a really obnoxiously long one out. Here we go. Da -da -da. You created a monster. I got a cutie frame because of you. I moved my handle up the top and I just purchased a regulator. Hope to get used to it this weekend. Yay! I work all week, so the work and that is awesome. How are you liking it? Did you make one of those? Um, you said you put them on the top. Did you use like the PVC thing? Did you join the cutie quilters Facebook page? If not, you should definitely join that Facebook page. They are so nice and look at all these like trimmings. <laughs> I should probably keep these and make like a string block. Uh, I'm going to put them in here. That's so bad. I'm throwing them away. Throwing them away. I should probably go get my iron. So that after this is done, I just want to get my big flying geese done. That way I can make my big blocks. Some of these are big blocks. A lot of them are, sh are very small. So I need like the instant gratification with this pattern to keep going. <laughs> Especially since I'm like in my head thinking I'm way behind. Yeah, the cutie is absolutely amazing. It's such a great, great thing. Whoever came up with it is a genius. I guess that would be Grace, Grace Company, Grace Quilting Company. They did a good job coming up with that. What machine do you have on your cutie? Is it a Juki too? Or, gosh, I keep getting like, like a tickle. Something's tickling me. I did see a mosquito down here. So maybe I'm like subconsciously thinking it's a bug. It's just my hair. I feel like I should stand up because this is like wiggling a little bit. I do not want to slip. I have to cut more. Let this be perfect. Oh my gosh. I think we can knock these out before Archie realizes I'm not done. And he might sleep a longer stretch than normal because he got those shots. And like every single nap of his today got interrupted or um, loudly ended by somebody. Some of his siblings. He also cried a lot in the car today. He does not like the car. He is the happiest, most smiley baby. He never cries at home. Like, ever. But as soon as you put that kid in the car, he loses it. He hates the car. Doesn't matter if you've got smooth jazz playing doesn't matter if you've got no music playing, if you talk to him the whole way. He hates the car. Hates it. He just cries. And a lot of the times, oh my gosh, I swear I hit like every red light and he's like just screaming and you're like, dude, I'm trying so hard to get home, but I can't. I can't drive through red lights, man. So that was, that's a rough.
We are breaking the mini Aliso out of retirement. I mean, it wasn't retired, but I haven't been using it. We are going to use it again. It's been a long time. I did join that page and made the curved metal pieces, put the handle on top. I will do it before the regulator, but I'll try the regulator this week. The regulator is so worth it. Um, I know it's really expensive and you're probably like, oh my gosh, but, um, yeah, it's so worth it. It's going to make your stitches look so nice and consistent and beautiful. And, um, you're not going to be like cursing as much. Cause I remember, I think it was probably just like a week or two of me trying to like get in the swing of it and use the quilty, the quilt or the cutie quilter without the regulator. And as soon as that regulator got put on and I started quilting with it, um, with it like engaged, the quality was so much better and I felt so much better while I was doing it. Cause I was like, this is looking good. It's not like you're, <laughs> you're like, oh my gosh, trying to keep up with the machine while it's trying to keep up with you. It just like glides so much easier. So congratulations on your, your big, um, cutie and your regulator. That's so awesome. I'm excited to see what you quilt on there. You're going to have to share. Hi, Carissa. Yeah, the cutie is really great. If, like, you don't have a ton of room or you're just, like, looking for, you know, something that you can do a little bit more on than your regular sewing machine, the cutie is great. I'm going to have to get used to sticking my, look at that. These are going to be so pretty. Got to do all these. Here's another print. It's so pretty. It looks like a batik, but it's not. So for this one, there's going to be two of each of four different prints. So there's going to be four of four different prints because they're four at a time. Look at this one. It's so pretty. This is such a gorgeous line. I really love it. So my grandma comes in town on Wednesday from Arizona. Um, she is a quilter. She kind of is a little bit responsible for the reason why I am a quilter. She's the one that kind of started the trend. Um, but she's coming to visit, and that's going to be really fun. She's going to be here for a bit. She's staying at my parents' house. 
Oh my gosh, I'm going to sneeze. Um, but I'm going to take her to the quilt shop, show her my favorite place, KC Maker Studio. And then she gets to see the kids. She has not met Louise. She's going to be meeting Archie. Um, the last time she was here, I think Zoe was like, I mean, she was so, so young, like maybe a month old. So she's in a, in a sense meeting all of the kids. So that's going to be really fun. Um, hi, Nancy. And then she gets to come over, and while she's hanging out with the kids, I'm going to talk her ear off about quilting, too, and show her the long arm, maybe. Maybe I'll load one of the quilts that I need to do and have it running. I have it all ironed and ready to go. That birthday quilt kind of threw me off my groove. I was doing so well with timing on everything. And then I was like, spur of the moment, let's make another quilt. As if you can just snap your fingers and make it. I feel like we kind of forget like how long it takes to make a quilt start to finish. I was like, yeah, I can get this done in time to go to the birthday party. We'll be on time. I was like an hour, we were an hour late. I felt so bad. But she did say like the time was a loose thing. People would be coming and going and it wasn't like they were waiting on us or anything. But I was so confident that I could get this quilt done. And it was taking so long. Um, I had pretty much all of it done. I worked on it in the morning, like finishing the quilt top, and then I like did a really thorough job on ironing. Like I'm actually pretty proud at how good I've been with ironing and nesting my seams, and like I've just been really trying. And so I was putting all of that effort into this birthday quilt, and um, then I had to quilt it, and then I had to bind it, all while running around, getting the kids ready for the party, feeding Archie. It was wild on Saturday, but we got it done. We got it done. It was a really cute quilt too. I feel like my cordless Panasonic gets hotter than this. My um, regular Aliso is amazing. It gets really, 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 really hot. I would say hotter than this one. But I really do like my um, cordless Panasonic. I've grown like pretty attached to it. And I don't, I didn't realize it until I started using this one tonight. <laughs> How much I love that thing. So if you're debating getting a cordless iron, definitely look into it. The Panasonic is amazing. I have not had any issues with it, knock on wood. It gets really, really hot. It stays hot. It's really easy to take to like retreats and classes because it's got like that little handle on the case and everything. It's awesome. And it heats up really fast. We should do a bet. Do we think that we can get at least these flying geese blocks done before Archie wakes up and starts hooting and hollering for mama? Because as, as soon as I hear him make a noise, I am out of here. <laughs> I'm like, I will never pass up cuddling 
with that little dude. He is the best. He's the best. All right. Let's add on my other piece. I'm trying to be really careful to not mess up my um, my low volumes. I'm really, really bad about... I think now I can use this. Yes. I'm really, really bad about low volumes. I always get them upside down. Has anyone else's allergies just been off the charts this season already? I am dying over here. My throat itches so bad. Or I guess I should say the roof of my mouth itches really bad. Ah. Oh. I guess, I wonder if I can, let's see if I can do it. Woo! Okay, we're going to use the seam tape. It's going a lot faster that way. And I did make these blocks bigger so that I could trim them down. So, crush fingers. He is doing great. He is such a good baby. He had his two-month checkup today. He got some shots. He's 11 pounds already. How in the world has that boy gained, like, four pounds? He's gained four pounds already, guys. So big. He's so, so big. He um, really loves the ceiling fan. He loves, he loves, loves his big brother and big sisters. They are kind of obsessed with him to the point where, oh my gosh, I almost have to be his bodyguard because they get up in his face. They want to like, Louise will try and act like she's going to pick him up. Like she'll try to like get her arm over him and kind of scoop him up. I'm like, no, 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 not happening. Um, <laughs> but they really, really love him and Louise is starting to talk so much now. She's talking so much and she goes up to him and she goes, Archie, Archie Poke, Archie Pokey. It's so cute. Archie. That's what she says. That's so, so cute. And Addie and Zoe are the best big helpers. They are always wanting to like help out. Um, he's, they're hilarious. He'll be crying or whatever, and they'll be like, I think he wants your boob. <laughs> it's just funny. It's like the stuff they say. And they are very in tune with what he needs. Sometimes I think that they think that they are the mommy and daddy of baby Archie. And it's just really cute. I do get a little bit of anxiety when they're like, hopped up like freaking out super excited and they get up in his face and you kind of have to remind them a lot like calm down you need to be calm around the baby you need to be careful around the baby they just like love him so much that they cannot contain themselves 
Yeah, got the good milk, I guess. I guess. He gained a lot last appointment. And this time, um, like, I think he was, like, in the 54 percentile the first appointment. And she was like, that's fantastic. And then this time, I think he dipped down to, like, 34, 33. But in those first couple weeks, they, they cluster feed so much. And... He hasn't been cluster feeding as much. Like, he still feeds a lot every, you know, very consistent. And there's, like, no concerns or anything. But I think he just, like, started growing a little bit slower because he's not wanting to eat 24-7. He likes to be by his mama 24-7. I'm honestly surprised that he is not awake yet I'm waiting for the text from Austin like he's awake come up because um I really really love that time with him like feeding him and cuddling with him it's really special I feel like the time is already going so fast and it makes me kind of like sad a little bit because you know like We've gone through it before. It goes by so fast. And I feel like every with every kid, it's just more apparent that they grow so fast. you got to just enjoy it. Even when it's, like, so frustrating. Not with Archie, but, you know. Addie and Zoe, man. They are... They have been giving us a run for our money. Addie especially. He has been having some attitude. I kind of feel like the toddler years are almost like a practice round for the teenage years. Like this is just a little glimpse into like how they're going to be when they're like hitting puberty and stuff. <laughs> And they're so sick of mom and dad. I don't know why, but just thinking about them being that old makes me want to cry. <laughs> makes me want to cry so bad because I feel like you kind of you kind of think that they're never going to grow up. That they're always going to be this little. But you also know that that's not true. And so it's just like a constant... You're excited for the new things, but you're also so sad to say goodbye to the old things. Where did I put my little, my little cutter? There it is. Well, that was really nice not having to mark the line on all of those. I used my seam tape. Ta da! That stuff is truly magic, I'm telling you. That just cut so much time. I would still be sewing these together. I wish I had my snips down here. I would snip these so fast. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, how is it already May? Isn't that just insane? We're almost halfway through the year already. How in the heck did that happen? It just doesn't make sense. Time does not make sense. Alright, now we're going to sew the other way. You guys know how to make flying geese. We are just going to go for it. marked that one so all right we are going to sew this way and it 
This stuff is amazing. I love seam tape. It takes so much time off of your, your sewing. I need a snack. And a drink. I don't know. We're going to see once it comes to trimming how accurate this uh, seam tape is. Actually how accurate I am. Don't think it's the seam tape. I think it's me. I might need a line. If you know what I'm saying. I know our grandson turned eight months today. Oh, isn't that just crazy? Uh, it just goes so fast. I'm excited to see these little funny geese. They're going to be so pretty. If I do the flying geese today, and I try to do the stars tomorrow. That'll be good. I'll feel much better about where I'm at with this. Yeah, I have a really pretty quilt, but I need a long arm. And I have a few customer ones coming in. I did that really pretty purple one that's sitting right here. I've done this one. I just did a really big one. I need to bind it still. I have another customer one here. I did that gingerbread one, I did the birthday one, um, I did the walking star, so I think I've done about five quilts on the long arm since I've had Archie, and a few of them have been like baby size ones, just two of them actually. I did actually quilt a bag panel on there as well because I made that bag, which I'm pretty proud of. So I've slowly been getting back into the groove of things. Definitely not anywhere close to being where I used to be. That's to be expected with a whole bunch of kiddos and nursing and all the stuff. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just happy to get back into it. Right, I guess I'm going to cut these all first. And then I'll trim them. And then we'll iron them. And then trim them and maybe even make that block that we need to make. I could have made this scrappy but I did two of each so maybe I think I might just do the same layout on all of them. Have the same like sequence I guess. Okay. 
the oh these are still connected oops we are going to trim these apart and then we're gonna iron them all i'm gonna just put this down i'm not gonna be able to cut with a pencil oh my goodness yeah this is Oh man, I think it'll be okay. Oh gosh, look at that! Ta da! Alright, we're gonna throw these over here by the iron. Hi, Sue! How are you? We are doing great. We are just. Taking everything day by day. Some days are better than others. <laughs> Some days are easier than others. Kind of like these seams. Some of them are a little bit better than others. The seam tape might not be good for me. I should probably be marking these. Yikes. Oh, man. Yeah, some of these are going to be very, very, uh, what was I thinking? I was so excited, too. This is, like, a good, uh, it's not too bad. I don't know. Next time, I'm definitely going to be marking it again. I'm not confident in myself with the, this tape. I'd rather it take longer and have good quarter inch seams. Or should I say consistent? <laughs> this is not. And again, not the seam tape's fault, but my fault. This is user error over here. Bum, bum. That one's actually pretty good. I'm proud of myself for that one. Good for you, Beth. That one wasn't too bad. Good night. Are you going to bed? Austin's doing good. I forgot to say how Austin's doing. He's doing great. He is back to work. He had like three weeks that he like had to split up over time because it's tax season and like having a baby right now has probably not been the best idea, but it was a little stressful for him because even though he had time off, he was still working and he felt like he was falling so behind because a lot of the stuff that he does, only he knows how to do and only he can do so even though he had time he didn't really get to take time off but he's doing okay he's caught up at work he is feeling good he's tired he's a tired guy but he's doing good Like find the best way to trim some of these. Oh man. Woo! Yeah, this is rough. Oh man. Are any of you guys good at keeping a consistent quarter inch when using the seam tape? I'm good at like keeping it on the red, but doing it the quarter inch over, oh boy, this is not. It's more of like a eighth of an inch. Bing. Alright, one more. 
Man, I didn't bring a drink down. I am so thirsty. Okay, it's gonna be over here. Iron this box open. Yep. I'm not really good at flying geese. I made that birthday quilt and the first time I tried to make it, I did all my flying geese and I trimmed them wrong because I had like the wrong measurement that I thought I was trimming to. I also did not make them bigger I, I really wish more pattern writers would like write the cutting so that you could have enough room to square up your blocks. I feel like so many people would benefit from that and so many people want that. I don't care. I'm fine with like trimming extra fabric off. That's fine. I don't. A little bit of waste is fine. I want to be able to trim my blocks down to the exact size they need to be and I want to have room to do that. I hate, I hate, hate, hate when I get to a part of the pattern and then it's like, okay, square up your block and you have literally maybe a hair all the way around that you can square up and it's not even square it at that point. I would just let me trim some off and get it looking perfect. I don't know how I'm going to lay these out. I think I left my ruler. The ruler that I would want to trim these with is upstairs. So maybe I'll save the trimming for tomorrow because I can do that easily while the kids are eating can't really sew. Maybe I'll get all my sewing. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I'm just getting like increasingly thirsty as we go.
I do have to go to the quilt shop tomorrow. So maybe I'll pick up the a little bit more of this background so that it matches. It's going to drive me crazy if it's not matching. Yeah, I should have marked these. I don't like how thin these are. These poor little seams. We will just do some really dense quilting. How about that? Tack it down. We need some music. Kind of nice, but still the repetitive stuff of quilting. It's so meditative, relaxing. So relaxing. We have all of these. 
look at those. They're so pretty. Good night. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I feel like I'm so thirsty, Nancy. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna... I don't know if that's gonna help. I'll try and think about that, though. Okay. Now let's do our... These are one at a time half square triangles. So this is easy because all we do... Oh, how did my head come out? What are you doing, Juki? You're still in there. Maybe we can get our half square triangles then. Alrighty. Let's get our half square triangles done, shall we? Let's do a check. Um, I should probably check the pattern real quick before I do anything crazy. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Let's cut quarter inch away. Alright, we have to make a lot of those, so let's just chain piece those real quick. We'll iron them when we're done. Let's do it. While making sure we don't flip our way volume. I don't think my seam tape is straight. That's a little off. It's okay. I'm gonna just eyeball. Are you surely? Got a lot of these to do. There's 64 of these. 
That's terrible. I'm glad you're feeling better. That's scary though. Was it new medication or like just, was it random? That's so scary. Oh gosh. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> Austin sent me my favorite meme. I don't know if that means Archie's awake or not. Maybe it just means I have good taste in memes. I'm surprised he's awake. There's no way he's awake unless Archie is awake. That man is, like, able to fall asleep at any given point. I have such a hard time falling asleep. I feel like Austin could just close his eyes and just drift to sleep. And it's crazy because I could be so exhausted. I could be so tired. And I can't go to sleep. I can't turn my mind off. I can't, like, shut down the program that is my brain, and drift to sleep. I feel like it takes me so long. And then, of course, you're thinking about it. You're consciously thinking, like, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Stop thinking about that. Don't think about that. Don't think about that. Go to sleep. And it doesn't work either. So... I'm gonna say, is he up? Does he need mama? Does he need his mama? feel pretty good. I got quite a bit done. My confidence is getting better and getting this done. if he's up and he hasn't responded so maybe he didn't just send me that maybe I was like nopey nope stirring a bit but he's done it a lot you better knock on wood boy he's gonna wake up right now to start screaming okie dokie Let's see if there's any drinks down here. All I see is my starch bottle. It's not looking too bad. It's like 
day 100 in the sewing room. Stuck in the sewing room in your starch gallon bottle is not looking too bad. I am not trimming these, not trimming them at all. I will trim the half or the flying geese. Not trimming 64 of these one at a time. I feel like if you do them one at a time, they should be pretty dang close. to what they need to be so we are just we are not going to be trimming these no way Jose I'm going for it This pile is getting shorter, but it still seems like there's so much in here. So many blocks in this quilt. So many blocks in this quilt. We're so close. We probably have about 24 more. Maybe 16 actually. I love this fabric. It's so stinking pretty. I'm definitely going to want my snippers. This long, long chain. Long, long chain.
bigger half square triangles to make, but I think we cut more fabric. I'm just gonna wait. Until tomorrow. Until I get the one that matches. to the end 64 of these <laughs> and then we have to trim them all that won't take long though I feel like that takes less time than sewing them I don't know big stack. The rest of these, actually I think there's even more that I need to cut for these. Um, I need to piece into flangies. <laughs> there's so many! Marie says she su suffers from the same issue. It's so hard. Okay, so Nancy, we have had sound machines in our room for like um, the babies when they're sleeping in our room for them and I cannot fall asleep now I love rain like if I know it's raining and it's a storm like a legit storm I can go to sleep and I feel pretty good but um, when we have the sound machine on and it has like waves that's the one that is always like the first sound on there I cannot go to sleep with it anymore like I'm the type of person that can't even go to sleep if the TV's on I just like it makes it even harder for me to just um like quiet my mind um sometimes it's just so nice to reach over and turn that thing off <laughs> and I feel like Archie doesn't even really need it um we haven't had it on in our room that much um because I just cannot fall asleep with it anymore I feel like I'm j it's just constant. And like the girls have one in their room and that stays on and it's so loud. And I just think I've just heard it for so many years that it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I've built a tolerance to the sound machines. It has um, started to have a n negative reaction on my sleep. The opposite of what it's intended to do. Um, so it's funny how that works out, but it's a great suggestion. I'm sure for a normal person, the sound machines and white noises probably work really well, but my brain, oh my gosh, just will not stop. I'm constantly thinking about just random stuff. Like, what do I need to do tomorrow? What can I do? Or if I have, like, a project that I need to work on, did I cut enough pieces? Do I have to, like, I don't know. It's like my brain gets bored. And I would rather just think about just things that don't matter. 
at whatever time it is instead of going to sleep. I don't get it. All right, now we get to trim all of these. Beep. I know I just said that I'm not going to, I need to trim them. I'm not going to square them up. They should be pretty much good to go. So I'm not going to square up all 64 of these. We are just going to call it good. I hope that we pieced a straight enough line to where it's somewhat. Accurate. It's like some quilt A or something. What allergies? I took an allergy pill the other day and then I noticed a drop in my supply like so I'm not going to take another allergy medicine all season just pray for me took the kids out the other day for like an hour it was last week when Austin was at work and oh my goodness I was doing well for a while and then Zoe she loves picking the dandelions. We've got a lot of dandelions in our yard. And I was like, please do not bring me any dandelions right now. <laughs> I think mommy is going to die. I didn't tell her that, but I felt like I was dying. I was like, this is terrible. And then I started sneezing. I was wearing Archie and a little baby carrier. And then when the allergies really started kicking in, I was sneezing. I'm not even kidding. Like every 10 seconds. Poor Archie was getting, like, jolted every time I sneezed. It's okay, kids. We need to come inside. Mommy cannot handle being out here. I need to have some honey. Like, get some local honey and try having some of that. Because um, my seasonal allergies are so bad. Uh, I love spring because of the rain, but if I had to pick my favorite season of all time, it would be fall because it's got the rain and like those cozy, cool, rainy days, kind of like spring, but everything's dying. <laughs> all the bugs are dying. The sun is going bye-bye and my allergies go bye-bye and it's like the best season ever everyone's so nice and happy and it's starting to get like chilly out and you can start wearing sweaters fall is the best also there's no tornadoes in the fall so that's really cool gotta look out for that in the spring and summer out here, but not in the fall. I'm telling you, fall is the best. No mosquitoes, no sunburns, no allergies, no tornadoes. Nothing like a good fall day. You can open the windows in the house, put on some jazz, light a, ca a candle, do some cleaning, or just like chill on your couch with a nice little like throw blanket and some fuzzy socks oh my gosh that is my ideal day if I could have that every day a nice rainy fall day oh my gosh that'd be the best I think the only thing bad about fall is all the leaves that go in your yard if you are one to want to rake those all up and get rid of them we don't because we're lazy but we probably should
thank goodness for two at a time and three at a time half square triangles. Man, could you imagine doing one at a time half square triangles every time? It's written this way because the pattern is intended for layer cakes. So you're taking essentially the leftovers of what your layer cake is from your bigger cuts in the pattern and making your half square triangles with that. But I did um, fat quarters. And oh my gosh, I probably should have just like edited it or adjusted it to be several at a time, but I want to make sure that the patterns are accurate, so I'm following the directions. It does say it's a layer cake, fat quarter um, pattern. So you can use fat quarters, but it's not written really to do multiples things. My phone's telling me that my bedtime is coming up. I think I'm going to drink a gallon of water once I get upstairs. I drink so much water. Be so pretty when it's done. I'm excited. All right, let's let's iron these open.
so many books. So many books. Sorry, I'm really bad at doing this tonight. He is so sweet. He is the most smiley baby ever. He only cries in the car. I say that a lot, but he really only cries in the car. <laughs> yes. When that first frost happens, it's really nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, allergies are just the worst. The worst. And you almost forget about them. You almost forget about them because fall and winter are great. You forget that you have to suffer for, you know, several months. You forget about that. Until everything starts growing again and you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. Spring is amazing. And then... About three weeks into it, you're like, oh, this is terrible. The allergies are back and you can't breathe and your throat itches and your nose is running and your eyes itch. And you're sneezing and oh my God, it's so bad. We're almost done. Thirty minutes. I or so be all together.
might as well iron these all together. Or sew them all together in pairs. There we go. close. Three more to go. Alright, we are going to check the pattern. Let's check the pattern. You need to show the directions. All right, I guess we're just gonna sew them together in pairs now gonna make our star points. This is when we're gonna know how bad we off we are. I 
put this Gotta find the other one. I want to keep them together. Which one did I have? Oh, there's one. Where is the other one? <laughs> A lot of this fabric is very similar, so my eyes are getting tired. I have my glasses on. It's going to be like right in front of me too. All right, we'll stick that one out and we will just do our other ones. I love little star points. They're so cute. Oh, there it is. It was right in front of me. What the heck? I think I should sew some more <laughs> at bedtime because this isn't making me tired. I'm sure when I go up after I get done feeding him, I am going to have no problems falling asleep. <laughs> So pretty. I'm excited to see it. Gonna rotate them down. Bing, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, don't pay a lot of attention to these points when they're done.
especially that one. <laughs> that one was bad. That one was bad. that that mosquito is still in here and I am literally just feeling something like coming onto my skin it's bothering me I don't know how mosquitoes are even alive already Ugh! what is that feeling I think it's time for me to go to bed <laughs> fly over here dude I feel either a hair is like falling out of my head and that is very possible postpartum hair loss is very real they would they'll just be like very long hairs hanging falling out all day long feels like there's like something crawling on you and it's just your hair Falling out. Whoa, that really went fast. Alright, I am getting tired. I'm getting turd. And very thirsty. And I need a snack. Do I want to snack? That is the question. I've got some peanuts up there. Yay! All right, we got thirty two of these now. Like we should have like a speed race on here, a competition between all of the YouTube creators. You have to like do a certain length of chain pieced chain, and then you have to break it apart with one of these things, and whoever does it the fastest wins. How fun would that be? Do the sewing Olympics on here. That would be fun. All right, I've got a little star point. My laptop's turned off. Look at that, that's so cute. I'm working on a test tonight with some really pretty fabric. I'm just trying to get a little bit of progress done because I feel like I'm way behind. And there is a rogue mosquito in here that is just landing on me and mentally torturing me. They're so cute. This is really pretty fabric. So pretty. How are you doing tonight, Marie? 
my laptop is telling me that it's going to shut off if I don't plug it in. And my charger is upstairs <laughs> in our room. So, I'm either going to have to say goodbye or my laptop's going to say goodbye. Eel. They're so cute. I think I'm just gonna hop off of here. I'm probably gonna keep going until he wakes up because there's no use in going up there, getting comfortable and falling asleep for, you know, five minutes and then BAM! You're awake. I should probably go check. all my little stars lined. If my laptop dies, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get to a stopping point here. Yikes. <gasps> That's a really bad point. Hopefully I'll be caught in the seam allowance. We'll see. It is torturing me, I'm telling you. Alright, so after this, all I have to do is grab some more 
background fabric, do some bigger half square triangles and a whole bunch of little ones, and then piece it all together. It shouldn't be that bad. It will not. Alright, we've got all of our little units here. Yay! And then we've got our flying geese. Yay! We have made some progress. The next step is taking these and matching them up. My laptop is going to die. It's just it's not gonna it's not gonna last. It's slowly fading. Um, maybe we'll just see how long we can, if this program ends, you know that my laptop said no more. And we did not wind a bobbin for nothing tonight. Am I right? Can at least get these added on here. Then I'm going to go upstairs. Tight. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, I can come on again and do a little bit of sewing here and there. I would do it during the day, like when I get little times, but it's just. Really, the only good time to come on here is at night when everyone's sleeping because otherwise it's complete chaos and it's loud and unpredictable. Where is the dark one? There we go. Let's get them on the other side, and then I'll call it a night, because then I have to have, like, other pieces to do anything else. I'll make sure I don't stay up too late, because then I'll start making silly mistakes, and nobody, nobody's got time for that. Nobody. These blocks are a little wonky, but we are fudging it over here. I need to stop.
I think this is going to be a good stopping point. Oh man. I can use those in that bag. I think this is good progress. Okay, maybe I'll iron these though. Well, while I'm here. And then I'll do, I'll finish my stars tomorrow morning. Keep them over here all nice stacked up. Let's iron these. I'm gonna iron towards the center. Alright, I feel good about where I'm at. I feel good. I feel much better. Okay. I am going to go drink a lot of water. And if he doesn't, if he's not up in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to wake him up and feed him because he has shots. So I know he's going to be tired, but he still needs to get up and eat. 
the doctor told me if he's like super sleepy wake him up and eat him so he doesn't not eat so i'm gonna go drink a ton of water so that i can feed him <laughs> but i'll show you all the blocks that we got we got all of our big flying geese done i just need to trim these tomorrow to square them up i got all of my little mini half square triangles and i paired them up in my star points and i got half of them sewn with their center like their matching fabrics isn't this so pretty um and so next up would be um i know this is so bad to throw this away i'm doing it um next up would be to pair these all up chain piece them attach them to my stars and then the rest of the themes involve making bigger half square triangles and a whole bunch i think there's like 288 um which i need more of these um slip and stitch flying geese so I feel good about the progress. Thank goodness for chain stitching, chain sewing. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm so brain dead. <laughs> All right, I'm glad that I could come on here. I know I didn't really talk a lot. I'm sorry. I just wanted to come on here and baby steps, baby steps. And um, all right. Well, I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Um, good night. Good night. Good night.